What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again. It's 2023. Happy New Year to everyone out there. I hope you all had a fantastic evening. And if you're hanging, you need a full breakfast. And that is exactly what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try cook in this new multi-cooker. As you was told about yesterday, so we're going to give this a go. So we're going to unbox this now. And uh, yeah, and then I've got all the breakfast stuff over here ready to go. We've got hash browns, mushrooms, beans, tomatoes, toast, egg, sausage, bacon. Similar to what it looks like on that picture there. We'll unbox it and then we'll get into it. First things first, let's get it unboxed, it'll open. Apologise for the angle of the camera and things, I've only got a very, very small kitchen. So, I just have to do my best. I could have unboxed it somewhere else, I suppose. But we're back in the kitchen again, aren't we? So, we've got a wire. in the box so I'll put the box down here. So you've got it's nicely uh, nicely packaged you've got lots of polystyrene keeping it all safe. I think it's just gonna come there's a few screws and things that I'm gonna have to put together and there it is that is the multi cooker so put this polystyrene in here put some scissors cut it off with some plastic oh. Off. There we go. There's a little uh, instruction manual for the typical block. I'll be needing that. And then so it's very simple. That's that's the top of course. Just literally a big pan in it, let's be honest. And that is the um that is where you, you put your your wire there and the heat setting is on the wire there so your temperature controls it's got one two three four and five on the thermostat but i think i've got to just put this top on i'm going to need a screwdriver i am so Just sits on there like that, and then that's going to screw. says you need a screwdriver, well I don't, but you don't. <laughs> it fastens in pretty pretty much simply. All my life, we use butter knives. Tighten it up. There we go. That is sorted. The lid's on. Let this thermostat open. So it's got a quite a decent size length of cable, should be able to fit anywhere in your kitchen. Well, definitely fit anywhere in my kitchen. It's got this long prong which obviously goes straight through the middle. It's a heating element. And it tells you um, N and L and it tells you in there N and L as well. So that goes in there like that. Oh, that looks a bit, a bit off centre to be honest. So alright, is that 
And that's it. I'm going to try to do everything all in this pan, all this breakfast. So, I'll give you a closer look at it now, all set up, and then we'll get cooking. So, it does have a little bit of a uh, a little bit of information on the um, in the in the instructions. So you've got that. If you want to pause and have a read of that, you can do. I'm just going to wing it to be honest. Um, and then there, the temperatures for the setting guides. So you can go from 100 degrees up to 240 degrees. So not too bad. And then also, which is really helpful, gives you a couple of um, cooking estimates, times, and um, whatnot. I'll just. Go. Try to get a better light for you, but it's not happening, unfortunately. Um, fried egg, two minutes. So they'll be the last ones in. Pancakes, two minutes per side, omelettes. Vegetables to soup from two minutes. Sausages, which is the big one. Uh, temperature control, three. And it says pizza there, so I might do pizza in this. I'll give this a go. Um, sausages, temperature three, and keep turning till cooked. So that doesn't have a time on it, but... It'll be fine. And a bit on the cleaning and maintenance of the product there. So it doesn't tell me anywhere if I need to add any oil. Now, I'm not sure, so I'm going to have to Google it. But I wouldn't... Well, I might just add a little bit anyway. But we'll see. Let's get cooking. So I have set the temperature to three, as suggested for the sausages. I'm going to start with the sausages, put them in. And uh, yeah, let's get cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it all into here and I'm going to time lapse it and just see how it comes. Speed it up and then I'll slow it down a little bit see if I've got something to say. So let's see what this multi cooker can do. Wow. That is already warming up. So obviously I'm going to do the beans in the microwave. And the toast in the toaster of course. I'm just going to give that a couple of minutes and see how it goes.
that's all that is it it is done cooked everything quite nicely I must say let's see right I'll plate it up get the beans out of the microwave do the toast and we'll have a taste It's all important taste time, it's all right saving energy and, uh, and cooking healthily with no oil and um, all that sort of palaver. But if it doesn't taste nice, in my opinion, it's not worth it. So the egg, which is obviously one of the big questions, came out runny. I've dipped this sausage in the egg there. Oh, it dripped. We'll get that later. Oh, don't. Get it even before I drip it all over the floor. Oh, wow. Sausages have come out absolutely fantastic as well. These are actually, look in there, Aldi reduced fat, 45% reduced fat pork sausages. And they uh, <clears throat> were a bargain, I think they're £1.49 for um, eight. They taste really good, actually. I was surprised about, because obviously, you know the saying, fat is flavour. These are really flavourful. Really juicy and nice. Mm. Seventy-two percent pork as well. So the sausages have cooked fantastic. The egg runner is perfect at the bottom. Bacon I probably put in a slight little bit too too soon because it's a bit crispy. But then it's crispy fat. Look at that. I suppose it's how you like your bacon. It's crispy fat, but the um, the actual bacon. It's not too bad. Tasty. Beans we're doing the microwave of course. You can't start New Year without saying it. Beans are beans. <laughs> I did get cherry tomatoes because they didn't have any um they didn't have any loose and I didn't want to buy a full pack of tomatoes because there's only me in the house who liked it. Mm. I'm glad I did though. They cooked beautifully that skin is just like, like a little bit burned a little bit seared mm. hash brown now these were frozen hash browns however i did defrost them before i put them in the multi cooker because i thought they'd be better off defrosted won't they and i was right they've cooked very good that mushrooms I love a fried mushroom and I love mushrooms on my breakfast. Wow, these are fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. Right. As you can see from the video, I made loads. <laughs> There's much more that's what's on my plate. I think my girls are at the table now eating theirs. So I'm gonna go join them. And uh, that is the first video of um, of New Year. Happy New Year. My missus is gonna cook a, a New Year's Sunday dinner for our, for our dinner today so that will be on the channel soon uh, probably next Sunday but um, because I've got the air fryer to get going on I, but I've got another video of for the, the buffet server as well that's coming up soon so lots of stuff lots of gadgets to, un, to open and all that sort of good stuff so here's to another fantastic year 2022 absolutely blew my mind you're all absolutely amazing get in the comments let me know if you've got one of these multi cookers Got to work out how to clean it now. <laughs> um, Mrs. Dino. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. Happy New Year. Did somebody say just What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.